Hello people of the verse and welcome back to the channel. It's the Eradicator and today I'm afraid that I have been eradicated. You will see that in today's video. We are going to talk about an exploit that people have been using against me and this is fine guys. That's the reason why I'm making these videos is that you know I am making mistakes sometimes. I'm not a robot. I'm not a superhuman. I'm just a player like you guys. I'm making mistakes. I'm learning from those mistakes and I'm sharing those mistakes with you guys so that you can also learn from those mistakes as well. More after these messages. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later. All right, so what I'm going to report on today is something that happened to me yesterday on live stream, and I wanted to give a, some, a shout out to the people who have been doing this to me because they remain anonymous, unfortunately. And uh, I thought that it was a very smart move. That's why I'm making this video. So you can see that I am trading here at Port Orisar. I'm doing some regular trading between Yela and Port Orisar. Astatin, if I remember right, is quite profitable. You should tried as well. And uh, as I am about to land here at Port Orisar, you will see that something very interesting happened. I eventually ended up having a crime stat for Norris. Well, it didn't say that I had a crime stat. It said that I committed an offense, which I had no idea what was going on because I simply was doing going by my business, landed the caterpillar on the pad. But what I understood later is that apparently uh, there was someone in EVA waiting for me to land my caterpillar and apparently uh, the ramming that particular uh, caterpillar made me commit an offense. So that's that was definitely uh, an issue here and it got me a crime stat. Now, of course, when you have a crime stat, you end up having a bounty on your head and this is exactly what happened to me. Oh, it looks like force reaction here is definitely working as someone is trying their luck with a hornet. They are landing right here. I was knocked down on the floor and unfortunately, I didn't see that I was losing blood at that time. I'm trying to get up, still can't get up. Uh, not enough strength eventually I got here. Not, not the missile launcher, but the F-55 trying to fight my way back. This is probably going to increase my crime stat, obviously, right? Uh, uh, so trying to fight back here and just when he is, I was about to get him, but uh, no, he did not kill me. The blood loss did, so that was entirely my fault. So yeah, watch out for your blood loss uh, when you are in a combat situation because you may die stupidly like that. So yeah, that's the whole thing. You get rammed by someone at one of the pads, that someone gets a crime stat, then after they get a crime stat, they get a bounty, of course, you go to SPK and then you try to cash in on your bounty. I think that this kind of strategy is extremely smart. And this, again, highlights that we desperately need uh, situations like death of a, spa a spaceman, when we are going to have death of a spaceman and our lives are going to matter in the verse, you know, or our health situation is going to matter, we will not be able to just casually and randomly die like it is currently the case in Alpha 3.x then this kind of situation is not going to be possible. But in the, but right now, the problem is that uh, the game is not able to distinguish whether or not it is your fault or not your fault. If someone is dying, people are pressing, and there's the option to press charges, but uh, <laughs> at the same time, uh, if people press charge just because they have established a scheme like this, uh, then uh, you are also eventually going to uh, deal with the consequences of actions that are not even your own actions and that is in my opinion not very fair but it's an alpha alphas are meant to be flawed and this is going to be something that i think is going to organically be so when we're going to have death of space and because it's not going to be in people's interest to just randomly die and respawn there are going to be too much consequences for that in the future and that's all for this little video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this video allowed you to learn something and that you will be uh, as careful as I will be as well in the future in the verse. Yes, watch out for people at uh, pads, any kind of pads, you know, who you may eventually ram because they're going to get, uh, that's going to get you a crime stat and then they'll be waiting for you at whatever security post you'll be uh, going in order to clear your crime stats. So yeah, uh, this is a little 
exploit here uh, as part of the game as of right now, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So I just wanted to raise awareness about this issue. And now, guys, it's time to answer a question from one of the Patreons who support this channel on the crowdfunding website, Patreon. Ravenu is asking, I just bought a C2. I hope it comes out next patch. What does it mean when it's a final art phase? Does it mean it's almost ready or they still need to do other things before that? So final art does mean that it is almost ready. White box is complete. Gray box is also complete. They are just finishing the last touches, you know, the last lightning, maybe a little bit of dirt every now and then. Uh, you know, when, for example, the ship is brand new versus when it is a little bit more used, right? Uh, special, uh, eventually, sound effect, last minute sound effects, see if the, the sounds transcribe quite well within the, the ship. So that's what we're talking about here when we're talking about final fi fires art, the final art phase, sorry. These are the last little details for the ships. So I think that we should reasonably also expect the ship to come out in uh, probably early 2021, probably quarter one. That's what the rumors are. But at the same time, uh, some people also in the leaks, in Star Citizen leaks community, also believe that it's not going to come out because it has 624 SC of cargo capacity. And some people are saying that might be a little too much and that we may need iCash for such cargo. I don't know. It's just a little bit over the caterpillar, right? So I guess that we will see. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for your question, Ravenu, and I hope that I was able to answer it the best with the best of my abilities and if you want your questions to be answered in the show just like revenue don't forget that this is one of the perks of uh, the patreon members so the link is in the description down below if you want to help the channel further out thank you so much for watching guys have a wonderful day and uh, this is the radicular i'll see you guys later